Hi, I'm Seed Sylvanians and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calaca Critters. And last week it was my birthday, and I was lucky enough to get some Sylvanians as presents, so I'll be showing those in today's video. First, my lovely fiancé got me the entire new Nursery Friends series. These were released in Japan last spring, but only came to the UK at the start of 2024, and there are four different sets. So I'll go through each of them. And first is the Walk Along Duo, which is a slightly weird name, but the Japanese set is translated as the Going to Kindergarten set, which I think makes more sense. Like all of these releases, it comes with baby figures and accessories. So this one has crumb chocolate and Ryan Persian in pastel patterned outfits and some really sweet accessories. On the back, we see them meeting baby seal Flora from the Sunny Castle Nursery. The side of the box has all of the pieces included. I think the sketchbook and crayons are my favourite pieces. I also love the background of this too. It looks exactly like a fun kindergarten. Okay, so the next set is the Rainy Day Duo, which has an outdoors theme. The figures in here are Baby Mouse, Albert Marshmallow, and Angela Pookie, the Baby Panda. They're wearing raincoats and have umbrellas and wellies. Their raincoats have a lovely pattern. And the umbrellas are personalised to each of them. On the back, the babies are holding the umbrellas and playing in the puddle, which is also shown on the side. And that's at the bottom of the box. So overall, they're a very cute set, and I think the open umbrellas are such a unique accessory. I don't think we've seen them before from Sylvanian families, unless you want to count the parasols in various beach sets. So those two were duos, but this set has three babies, and it's called the Pool Fun Trio. This is definitely a summertime set, with the babies wearing more swimwear type outfits. From left to right, we have Squirrel Ambrose Walnut, Yuli Fennec the Fox, and newborn otter Nicholas Bashy. The two regular babies have goggles and water guns, which they can hold, and the dolphin looks like an inflatable pool toy. From the picture on the back, it looks like Nicola can actually fit in that dolphin there to join in the fun. The outfits are more complex than the usual rompers, so I appreciate that, especially as it makes sense wearing swimwear. And the final set for my fiancé is the Sleepover Party Trio. The setting and theme for this set is definitely nighttime, and with the telescopes the babies will be doing some stargazing. Well at least Glory Midnight the Black Cat and Emmerdale the Sheep will be. The newborn baby in this set is Isla Periwinkle who has her eyes closed and is sleeping. As for outfits, the babies are all in their pyjamas, which we don't see very often. And on the back, the stargazing activity is taking place, with Aria Flora holding Isla. I really like the book in this set, and the alarm clock too, which both have a star theme. So yeah, these are the four sets all together. They're all really cute, and I like that they have more unique activities or accessories. From first look, I think my favourite is the Rainy Day duo, just because the umbrellas are so adorable. And I think he ordered these from Sylvanian Storekeepers, because they came with this sticker too, which is Adelaide Outback from the Forest Blind Bags. Okay, so then my fiancé's parents indulged my love for Sylvanians too, and they got me the High Branch Giraffe family. I don't otherwise own any giraffes, so this was a lovely surprise from them. I think my fiancé must have taken a look in my collection to see if I had any. The babies have a camera and a pair of binoculars. The back is quite basic, with a standard Sylvania map. So yeah, very pleased with these. 
and I think the giraffes were also slightly taller than other figures, which is a nice detail, though I will compare them in an unboxing. I'm including the final two items as birthday gifts that I just bought for myself, but these are both from Kobe Japan, which I love for all the Japanese exclusives. First, I bought this 90s Misty Forest carry case, which is the one with a furbank squirrel baby and a shell on a sandy beach with a fairy. I already have one of these cases, which is this one, and it's always in the background of my videos. But yes, that's really cute with a kneeling blue fairy baby. These cases are super interesting if you've not seen them before. I love the pastel colours on the back, and it has the 1998 date when this was released down here too. So yeah, that's the carry case. And the second thing I bought from Kobe Japan is also from the Misty Forest series. So this is the tomato house. I'll move the camera up to get it all in frame. This is another old Japanese exclusive, I think from 1996. I've wanted this set for the longest time, so I had to snap it up when I saw it listed before someone else bought it. It's just so kind of whimsical with lovely flowers, and I think the little tomatoes are so cute. This doesn't come with any of the fairies, but I do have a few already. There's the same picture on this side of the box. And on the back are some of the features. I definitely need to get around to translating all the text on here. This ladybird ring is missing, which is a shame. But that was in the listing, and is kind of expected for an older second-hand item, that something might be missing or broken. And yeah, lots of cute pictures. The other side of the box has everything included, with those two little tomatoes being especially cute. I definitely want to dedicate an entire video to this tomato house, so I won't get it out of the box today but keep an eye out for that on my channel in the future. And that's everything. So lots of lovely presents for my birthday, which I really treasure, and I'm excited to put them out within my collection. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this kind of short video, but be sure to subscribe to my channel to see the future unboxings and other Sylvanian videos and news.